Beretta 21A Bobcat. Man, that thing's hard to rack. A little easier once the hammer's back. But the cool thing is, you don't have to rack it. Just push this lever. Wow, look at that. The barrel pops right up. You can uh, get your magazine all loaded up. Get your mag in. Drop a 22 long rifle in the chamber, close it up, you're ready to roll. If it doesn't happen to be cocked at the time, your first action is double. It'll fire, and of course, it runs from there, and then you got single action. Seven plus one, eight shots. Let's take this thing apart to see what's going on inside of it. Flip this lever, pop the barrel forward. Notice the finish on this. This is shiny and this is satin. This is kind of an odd gun. I bought it used. I don't know where it came from. I guess that these things are made in black, they're made in satin, and there were some nickel ones. Nobody can really for sure say where this half satin, half shiny came from. But no matter, we're going to take it apart anyway. So you lift the barrel up, and then this piece just pops off. You gotta push back a little bit. It's actually easier if the hammer is cocked and then it comes right off of there and then you just pull it forward, pull it out. Look at, there's no spring. This is actually the spring right there. That little thing sticking up there. One on each side. Let's see how they work. We'll take the grips off. Now once the grips are off, you want to be a little bit careful because there are some parts in here that you could potentially lose. Here's the arm and this is the spring actually in here. And I'm going to just kind of hold all this stuff so it doesn't fly apart. And I'm going to lift this arm up and let it hinge out. Now if you're worried about losing parts, you can do this inside a clear plastic bag. bag that's large enough uh, to work in. Uh, but yet keep the mouth of it closed and um, you can see what you're doing and if uh, something goes boing it's contained in the bag. But we're confident that we're not going to lose anything here. So I'm going to lift this up, kind of let it go forward and pull it off. Then you can see the spring and the little plunger on the end of the spring um, that that thing fit inside of. There's actually a little slot in there and that does come out of there. So you could lose that. You could launch it with the spring. Once you have that out, then this piece that retains the spring just kind of pulls right out of that channel there. We got the same thing on the other side, um, but we got the draw bar in the way. So um, it's not quite as easy to get out of there, but you can do it. Um, what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to hold my thumb over it so nothing goes flying. And I'm just going to lift it off of this post right here. And that lets the tension and I can get it out of there easily enough. And then I can get this, uh, this uh, spring and plunger out. And um, that keeper. Okay, so we're getting down there. There's some other little parts that you probably want to be aware of. Let's get rid of the magazine. We don't need that in there. The uh, safety lever, it catches the sear right here is what happens. It catches the sear and the sear can't pull forward out of the hammer to let the hammer drop. Um, this safety lever will pull out. The hammer has to be back for it to pull out. If the hammer is forward, then you can't get that out of there. It won't come out of there. It's kind of held in um, by the hammer itself. But with the hammer back, you can pull that out. Now you want to be careful because there's a little plunger in there that gives you your detent. That plunger rides on a pin. So again, I'm just going to hold everything over here and carefully pull that safety lever out of there. 
and I felt it pop. It's a good thing I had my hands there because it's a tiny little thing. It's a tiny, tiny little thing. And um, there's a spring um, that I hope I didn't lose. There's a spring right there. It's also tiny. A tiny little plunger and a tiny little spring and they go in that tiny little hole and when everything's in place they rest on this pin right here and as that plunger pops up and down center point to that pin it gives you your detent either way on your safe so be careful with those now some people have asked about eliminating the safe you could surely do that you could put it all back together and just kind of put it together without that safe and you're good to go you got a DASA gun with a funny little notch where the safe is supposed to be but um, really no harm in doing that now if you want to take this thing down further it's not really a problem um, here's the magazine release and uh, the magazine release you just put a little punch through that hole and you can spin it and screw it right out of there and then the keeper comes out the other side now the keeper uh, does it is directional there's the little part of it that actually sticks out here that catches the magazine and that has to go toward the magazine when it goes back together all right and then those are the parts for the magazine release it is not reversible it only goes in from the one side okay then from there um, we can do a few different things here um, let's see here let's get rid of this drawbar and to get that drawbar out of there uh, you've got a little spring right here that we can just kind of pull that spring down and uh, unhook it from the bottom of that drawbar and uh, kind of get it out of the way its tail just lands in a groove in a frame down there you get that spring out of the way a little bit now that goes of course that drawbar uh, has a lever that goes inside which actually catches the uh, sear that releases a hammer to do the firing so we're going to work that out and um, then there's a pin that goes up here in the trigger and we're just carefully going to work and wiggle and pull that out that pin is going to that spring is going to pop a little bit if you want you can release it i got this nifty difty spring hook tool here and i can push that spring forward and then that draw bar comes right out of there and you can see the pin that was uh, behind that spring and it was also through the uh the holes in the trigger okay as far as the takedown lever goes you can get that out of there too there's another spring it's held in a similar way I could maybe get my little hook on it um, but there isn't much to it there but I can get at it from under here I can push that spring forward and get it out of that uh, takedown lever and at that point the takedown lever will work out now I got two springs because I kind of got that trigger spring in here too there it's out of the way and there's the takedown lever and you can see the uh, notch that that spring was in um, now these springs are captive in here um, by these pins um, I, I imagine they come out they would have to to be able to get those parts out of there uh, they feel pretty tight like you got to drive them out I don't really need to do that I have no reason to do that and um, I just don't want to take a chance of marring anything up or wrecking anything but there is a little bit more that we can take apart here without having to punch on anything and now here is the sear spring right here and you can see where it's hooked behind the sear and we're just going to kind of release that with my spring tool here we're going to pull it out and let it pop up over the sear and at that point the sear will um, uh, still we got hammer spring tension on it but we pull the sear forward and then um, the sear is now loose because we've unhooked its spring and then we can pull this pin out from the other side and this pin was holding the draw bar spring as well but that pin comes right out of there um, and then you can see the shoulder on that pin um, that was holding that draw bar spring and then at that point the sear comes right out of there there's the sear all right now we're getting near down um, you can uh, get that sear spring out of there by carefully um, uh, pulling and prying. There's kind of like a double hook thing right here. Um, I don't 
know for sure how easily it's going to come out of there. Uh, but if you uh, get behind that little tail and then push it, um, yeah, I don't know. I ha I've had it out of there before. Maybe a little pliers will help here. The little pliers action while I get that little tail pried out of there. And that's the sear spring. It goes in with this little open shepherd hook toward the front um, and it's all kind of obvious once it goes together and um, it rides in this little groove on the back side of that sear arm. Okay, the mainspring. The mainspring is a weird little thing here. You can actually get at it from the bottom and um, kind of push it up and get it out of there. And then at that point, this is a really weird arrangement, the way that that thing goes into the hammer. It's almost like, uh, like it can't fit in there, like it won't come out of there until you get it in just the right position and then it practically falls out and I don't know I can do it time and time again without a problem and then the next thing you know I can't get it to happen but um, at any rate um, we're nearly there I thought we were nearly there there we go that's the hammer spring all right, and again, um, I imagine that hammer comes out of there. That pin feels pretty tight. You'd probably have to uh, drive that pin out. I have no need to do that. There is one other thing you can do here. Um, this trigger guard serves as this barrel spring as well. Get it in the spot where there's the least amount of uh, tension on it and just grab it and pull it out from the back, and then it comes right out of there. And again, there's a pin here that holds this barrel. Um, so I suppose that you could take that out of there too by driving that pin out, but again I'm not going to. Um, that's as far as I'm going to go with that. Uh, I, I think that's enough for this video here. These parts need to be cleaned up so I'm going to shut the camera down and um, we'll be back later to see if we can get this thing back together and hopefully it still works when we're done. Thanks for watching.